At the age of 29, Sneha Chakraborty moved to Saskatoon and left behind her established career as an IT professional and classical dancer in India. In the first few years, she struggled as a newcomer, confined to the walls of her home. This was when she took action and started teaching dance in her home. The response was so overwhelming that it led to Sneha renting a dance studio and opening Mudra School of Performing Arts, which has about a hundred students to date. Dance is a passion for Sneha, and she would often teach students with limited financial resources for free. Sneha's passion to add to the growing diversity of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, led her to utilize her entrepreneur skills and take her chances on opening Colors of India with a mere savings of $3,000 on Avenue B. Her hard work and passion and growing customer demand for ethnic wares and clothing led to a bigger location within a year on 2nd Avenue in the heart of downtown Saskatoon. Success as a newcomer to Canada and success as a local business owner means getting involved in the community and expanding horizons. Wei Dong Miao came to Saskatoon from Guangzhou, China through the Saskatchewan Immigrant Entrepreneur Program. During the first two years, Miao and his wife Shirley began the journey of starting a retail storefront called Dara Children's Store. Miao managed nearly 50 children's clothing stores in China for 10 years, so he wanted to put his experience to use and start a new life in Saskatoon. Due to Saskatoon's rapid growth, many young families are in the city, and Miao and Shirley knew that these parents would want to dress their children in style. In April 2015, Dara Children's Store opened in the mall at Lawson Heights. It was the first Chinese immigrant-owned business in the mall and the only all-children's store. Dara is focused on providing employees with great customer service skills for both children and adults. Miao has employed four people this year, and Dara continues to see more and more business. The variety of clothes, shoes, accessories, and toys is incredible and is sure to draw the attention of both children and adults alike as they stroll through the mall. Miao is very grateful to the Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program and other support services that help them grow along the way. He and his wife tell other potential immigrants that Saskatoon is a beautiful city with friendly customers and great business opportunities. Dara is named after Miao and Shirley's daughter because they hope that their store will grow as happily and healthily as their daughter. Their family loves Canada, and their wish is that Dara will become one of the best children's store in Saskatoon. Haishu Audio Inc. was set up in January 2015. The owner, Fei Fang Wong, is an immigrant through the SINP program. After settling down in Saskatoon with his family, he established his business, Haishu Audio, specialized in DJ mixer party lighting speakers. With the support and guidance from Square One, Haishu Audio has been running for over one year, and the business conditions are getting better and better. As an electrical engineer, Fei Feng Wong has more than 25 years of experience devoted to home audio development and manufacturing. With Haishu, he brings his proprietary technology and high quality products to Canada. Haishu's mission is to let music beautify our life. Haishu Audio provides excellent sound, attractive design and reasonably priced home audio products all in one unit. The business has also expanded into other markets like Montreal and Vancouver, directly importing from China and wholesaling to local distributors. As an entrepreneur from China, Fei Feng Wong has always supported the events of the local Chinese community in Saskatoon. Over the last year, Haishu Audio cooperated with the Chinese Folk Dance Club, the Saskatoon Chinese Artist and Musician Alliance, Happy Life Wealth Management Inc., and others. Fei Feng Wong has a strong confidence on the future of his business in Saskatoon. Martin Scully is the sole proprietor of Scully Custom Carpentry. Martin moved from Ireland to Saskatchewan in June 2012. Ireland was in a recession and the most affected professions were the trades, including carpenters. Martin got a job offer while in Ireland that would support his temporary foreign work visa for Canada from PCL Energy. 
He was hired on as a journeyman carpenter in the potash mine in Vanskoy. The following months, when Martin got everything set up for them, his wife and two young sons followed him to Saskatoon in search of a better life. Martin worked for PCL Energy from 2012 until 2015 as a form work carpenter. In May 2015, he took the opportunity to invest in himself and Scully Custom Carpentry was established. With over 17 years perfecting his trade, Martin was confident that with his natural talent for carpentry and from what he had learned from his worldwide hands-on experience, that he would be very successful operating his own renovation business. He made countless phone calls to friends and acquaintances, informing them of his new venture. Then the online promotions began on Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and Kijiji, as well as an online profile on trustedpros.ca. From an advertisement on Kijiji, Scully Custom Carpentry secured their first project, building a deck in Blackstrap. After this job, more inquiries for quotes and estimates started coming in. Martin was pricing jobs effectively, and the business started to grow. He is now in the position to hire apprentices and other journeyman carpenters. Scully Custom Carpentry has many positive reviews on trustedpros.ca and has built a solid reputation amongst homeowners in Saskatoon as being courteous, trustworthy, talented, reliable, skilled, professional, and highly recommended. Hi, my name is Noe Fonsabat. I immigrated from Laos and currently live in Saskatoon with my husband and two children. When I came to Canada, I studied English and took job training at International Women of Saskatoon where I got my first job. I'm now the owner of a consignment store called Underground Trends on 2nd Avenue. I've always been interested in opening a consignment store because I think it's a good way to help people save money and the environment. Since we opened in December 2015, we have provide, uh, provided job training to newcomers and have participated in charity fundraising events. Building um, business is so um, it's lots of work and take lots of time and effort, but um, I never give up. With the, um, the help of friends and family, I was able to get where I am now. So thank you so much. And also to my consigners and shoppers for your continued support. Thank you.